Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's topic is, are you serial texting your ex? Now, this is so difficult when you're just coming out of a breakup, and especially if you were blindsided or it was just sort of an abrupt ending. Your whole mind, everything goes into overdrive, and you're just not sure what to do. And so all of a sudden, you're starting to go a little bit bonkers, and you want to keep in touch with them, you want to communicate with them, because you're so devastated, and you don't really have the proper closure that you need. You want to know what happened. How could they walk away from you? You're a great catch. What is going on here? You don't understand how they could just stop cold turkey like that and leave you to pick up the pieces of a shattered heart. This isn't fair. If it's a reciprocated situation and you both talk about it and you decide to end a relationship, that's a totally different situation. But if you're starting to text on a regular basis, especially after you have a few drinks, because the liquid courage comes in there and, and you start talking to yourself, ah, I don't care, I'm, I'm pissed off, I'm gonna contact because that was not right what they did to me. So you start texting. You wake up in the morning and you have this nagging feeling in your head that something happened last night after a few glasses of wine or tequila and all of a sudden you look at your phone and you know, oh my God, there's the dreaded reminder of what happened the night before. You have to stop doing this because you're making yourself go crazy. You're also putting a message out there that is, is showing a different side of yourself. You're saying to your ex that they have a lot of power and control over your feelings right now. You're stuck, you're not moving on. And so what happens is you completely lose a part of yourself. You lose that common sense and you sit there every day and say, why am I doing this? You know it's wrong, you know you need to move on, but you can't help yourself. And the biggest reason for this is you're angry, but it's how you deal with that anger. And continually sort of stalking your ex and sending message after message after message, trying to win them back, this isn't going to work anyway. Even if there is a way that you can come back together, it's not going to happen if you continually harass them with texts after texts, especially late at night, or contacting them during their work hours when they're busy. Get yourself into a busy place where you have less time to dwell on what happened and what you're going through constantly and over and over again in your head. This is the most difficult part, is trying to understand why they left. And it's hurtful and your self-esteem takes a huge beating. It really truly does. And I mean, we've all been there. All of us have been hurt by somebody. But it's how we handle it, how we move on from it, and how we look at ourselves and say, you know what? You're missing out on a good person here. It's your loss. Or if there's something you might need to work on, which all of us usually do when there's a breakup, because it is usually two sides to a story, if you can sit back and kind of look at what transpired that ended your relationship, you might be less hurt, less angry, less apt to pick up the, the phone and text them. So really sit down, maybe make a few notes about what happened in your relationship. Were there some red flags? Was there something going on that you really weren't meant to be together? And is it just your ego that's hurt right now? Because this is what you need to figure out. Do you really miss them because you love them? Or do you miss them because they broke up with you? So take some time away from t talking to them. Don't look at what they're doing on social media. Just get yourself away from anything that has to do with them. Get rid of all their pictures and all that stuff. Just put them away for now. I'm not telling you to set fire to everything, but put them away. Take some time out. Grieve the relationship, but don't text them and grieve the relationship. Pull back and just get, block them off your phone and that will help you and give you some, some sort of um, safety net on so you don't text them because they're not there in your phone. When you see things about them, that's when you want to contact them. 
So please put your phones away, everybody. Stop serial texting and figure out what happened in that relationship. Own your part in it and move on to somebody that you're better meant for. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Please leave your comments. And if you have anything you ever want to talk about, please contact me here or at cybersue.com. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.